And uh, so in honor of Bob's great guru, Geshe Wang Gel, who is a Mongol, and uh, this special event, the American Embassy in Mongolia was very supportive of doing something like this. Saran Norton uh, agreed to co-curate, and she went over and studied all of the artists and all of their artworks. Myself, I'm always biased, because uh, as Irish, we just like what we like. So we brought in an actual expert who knows that not everything we Irish like is necessarily great. But uh, in this case, I would say that almost everything was, and it just turned out very well. So Solo is our sort of featured artist of the, of the uh, program in America. And uh, I think uh, Don Rubin has eight of her paintings in his uh, permanent collection at the Rubin Museum of Art. She showed at Smith College uh, Museum. She showed in Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, many, many places. And the other artists are all uh, national award winners in Mongolia. Of course, Ghana, who is very, very well known, is a sort of a national treasure of Mongolia. For uh, He recreated uh, the 108 monastic dances for the first time since the communist destruction in 1937. So, other artists next to him, Erlen Merke, is a national award winner of the Golden Brush Award. These pieces behind you are by him. And uh, next to Solo is uh, Bogan Tuya. Again, she was the uh, best artist in the country in, nine, in 2000 and 2007. And next to her, Nirma. And she also was one of the great classical artists of the country in the contemporary working contemporary media and the best artist of the year in 2006. So I'd like to thank everyone for participating. I'd like to thank my old friend Bob. And by the way, I've known him since like the mid-1970s when we could both run up Mount Everest in a single jump. <laughs> As the seventh Alamo puts it in a, one poem, I could, we could wrestle the wild yaks. <laughs> so it's a very great honor to do something there with him like this. And, uh, for all of you people, thank you so much. Oh, uh, by Mongolia, because this is Mongolia, you have to learn the famous hip hip hooray, the way it's said, Mongolian style. It's actually a Mongolian expression. Do you hold this? Yes. You hold both of your hands like this, and you go, hurrah. <laughs> so, hip hip hooray is originally a, a Mongolian expression brought by the Golden Horde to Russia when they brought civilization to Russia. And from Russia, hit hit hurrah, 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 spread through the rest of Europe. Thank you so much. here in New York with the world famous art framer, Scott Engel. You're too kind. So, were you able to come to the Mongolian art exhibit? Uh, yes, I was. Uh, had you ever seen any art like this before? It was fabulous, world class. So that was the first time you saw that art? Uh, no. It not? When <laughs> you saw it before yesterday? I, I helped frame it and get it ready for you the show. You framed it? Yes, I did. Uh, hey, we had so I many complaints about the framing. <laughs> Well, 
strike that off my resume. <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone thought the framing was magnificent. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for doing that. Thank you. Excuse me, madame. Please say your name and what you thought of the Mongolian art exhibit last night. It was fabulous. It was framed exquisitely. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever bought Mongolian art? I have, yes. And uh, do you know these five national award-winning artists? I know one of them. Uh -huh. No, I know another. 